What's up guys, today we're gonna look at the setup, startup, and dashboard of the PlayStation 5. This is basically what's in the box. The PlayStation 5 console, the console stand, DualSense controller, a USB-C cable to charge the controller, a high-speed HDMI 2.0 cable, and a power cable. Oh, and there's also these manuals, but if you're watching this video, you won't need them. First thing you're gonna wanna do is set up the stand. You can have it set up horizontally or vertically. For the vertical setup, have the console sitting in this position, the back facing up and the bottom facing towards you. On the bottom here, remove this small plastic cap in the center and you'll get access to the thread where you'll bolt in the stand. You can rotate the stand like this. There's actually a small space for storing that little plastic cap so you don't lose it. And this is the screw you're gonna use to attach the stand to the bottom of the console. And there you have it, the vertical position. For the horizontal position, the stand needs to be rotated back to its original position. If you're switching from the vertical position, you can store the bolt again and also insert that bottom plastic cap back into the console. Now this time, you actually press the stand on the back of one of the side panels. The area is easy to spot, you just gotta remember it's where all the play logos are. And there you have it, the horizontal position. I myself prefer vertical, and I'm sure most of you will as well. Next, let's plug in the cables. One, the high-speed HDMI cable. The other end, of course, connects to your TV. And two, there's the power cable. There's really only two buttons on the console. There is the eject button and the power button. I have it all connected to the power and my TV, so let's start this up. And there it is, the startup animation. Interestingly, you only see that startup animation once. After the console's been all set up, it just disappears. Plug in the DualSense controller using the provided USB-C cable. Turn on the controller, and now we're gonna go through a few selections. There's a language selection. With the screen reader turned on. No, turn off. You set up your Wi-Fi. And right here, you can insert a game you want to play right away. It'll start the installation during setup. I'm going to load up FIFA 21. Now be careful here, you insert the disc the right way. This is really confusing, especially in the vertical position. The printed side of the disc needs to face in towards the buttons. Power options for rest mode. This is a bit interesting. If you want to take full advantage of the fast startup times, choose the default optimized experience. There's also the low power use option, but your startups are gonna be slow. Or you can make your own custom settings. Software agreement. And the console does require an update, about 870 megabytes. Now it asks you if you want, you can download the app on your smartphone to continue setup while it's downloading. I went ahead and got it here, but I'm gonna actually continue set up the old fashioned way using the controller. Now the console of course goes through multiple restarts during this update. All right, console update complete, but now there's also an update for the controller. Once that's done, it's time to sign in to your PlayStation account. If you don't have one, you can create one right on the console. Once you're logged in, 
you'll go through a bunch of preference and security options for your PlayStation account. The console asks you which media apps you want to download immediately, just select the ones you like. Now at this point, you can transfer all data from your PS4 using a wired ethernet cable. I'm actually going to leave that until later. And there we go. That's it. Setup complete. And here's a dashboard. It's been changed a bit from the PS4 dashboard. I think it's an improvement. You still scroll through all your apps and games horizontally, but notice how all the icons are much smaller and on the top. This gives you this nice and large space in the center where all the information about the game can be shown. So guys and gals, that's it for the setup. You can start enjoying your games. The first thing I recommend though is trying Astro's Playroom. This will really help you get familiar with all the features of the DualSense controller. Because I personally think that's one of the most next gen things about the PS5. I hope this video was helpful. Make sure you smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, take care guys and gals. Okay.